Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, channel Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're a returner, then thanks very much. This is a really impromptu video that I've decided to make this morning. Don't know if it's going to work, but I'll give it a go. I haven't got my proper ring light or anything up here, so um, not sure what it's going to be like. And I've got a kind of a mirror there, so I'll have to look at that from now on now and again to kind of see what I'm doing but I saw this um viral TikTok thing that's been going on about foundation and um putting it into water before you use it so I just thought you know what anything for a laugh really what's the worst that can happen so um, apparently you're supposed to put it this is actually tinted moisturizer and I put it into the glass before I got into the shower which apparently you're supposed to leave it a little while and it the oil separates from the foundation. I don't know if you can see that. As I say, this is actually tinted moisturiser. It reminds me of um, like goldfish poo. But anyway, I, I it's beyond me what it's all about. But you know what? Anything for a laugh. So I'm going to do my makeup, um, my skin makeup, and, and see what happens really. So I've got a teaspoon to fish it out. <laughs> now I'm doing this, it seems even more ridiculous. But um, I'm going to use my usual foundation brush of choice, which hasn't got a make on it, but it's kind of one of these flat ones, uh, which I prefer to use. And I'm going to fish out some of the foundation and put it onto this teaspoon and then put that onto my brush. Get a little bit more. I mean, at the moment, I think I probably put far too much in there. But hey, it's good for a laugh, isn't it? Sunday morning. Rob's gone out for a walk with the dog. Can't really do that. Not that I did it a lot. I'm not going to pretend I did. But um, oh, I've uh, dermaplaned my face as well, which is probably why it looks super shiny because um taken all the fluff off. So pop some on each side. Yeah, it feels nice and cool, which you'd expect it to be because it's been in cold water. It's rather a lot there, actually, probably more than I normally would use. Sorry, sorry, drop the phone. Um, well, it's not dry yet. I keep this fan up here for... Trying anything like this. Get a clean bit of the tissue. No, hardly anything's coming off. You see, I mean, that looks quite bad, but actually, it's not a lot. And that's not completely dry. So I'll do the rest of my makeup. It's given me a nice finish on my skin. So um, I just had a good old tidy up on the dressing table yesterday, so I should be a bit more organised. So uh, the last, the vlogger that I was just watching, actually, she um, she does her skin last and she's a makeup artist because she said, um, obviously, when you're doing the powder, it can transfer. Um, oh, so I'll do some eye primer. I'm doing all this and Katie's just asked me to go swimming with the kids later. It's the last thing I feel like doing, but, you know, should be good for my hip. And she doesn't really want to go on her own. I don't blame her. So I'm just going to spread all that out. To, I'm quite lucky, really. My my um, eye colour, skin of my eyes isn't very different to the rest of my face. But uh, it does give it a nice base to work on. So that's my eyes done. Then I'm just going to do, I bought this, um, it's only e.l.f. So it's a cheap brand of um, contouring. It's like a cream. Just put a little bit on just here. Try and give my face some hollows. 
course I've naturally got hollows but uh, this is so weird doing this I've kind of got the camera my dressing table mirror and then uh, the big mirror who wants to see through themselves eh? not me so that's just a little bit I don't go mad with that you know I don't want to look like a like a, I don't know, I don't want to look ridiculous. That's what I don't want to look. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of blusher on. I've got one of these makeup bags, which is actually really good. It's one of these ones. It kind of all pulls up like a shower cap. But then when you put it onto the, the dressing table, it all opens up so you can kind of see everything. They sell them everywhere now. I, I actually got one as a free gift as well from TK Maxx. Where's my blusher gone? Oh, maybe I'll put it in the drawer. No, it's not in the drawer. Where's it gone? Oh, it's so good. I can't find it. That wasn't a very good advert, was it? Where's that gone? I've tied it up too well. Right, so... Got my blusher. And this is the thing that I learnt quite recently. None of this should go here, apparently. More above your bronzer. It's all about lifting the face. I usually use a NARS blusher, but this one is actually an Aldi blusher. So, and for ages I thought it was a NARS blusher. Uh, so it just shows you they're all pretty good. Like I said, I don't know why I'm going to all this trouble. I'm going to have to take it all off in a little while, but I am filming a, a haul today as well. Um, John Lewis, last of the summer wine. No, last of the summer ball. So this is my favourite ever um, palette, and they don't do it anymore, of course. It's Urban Decay Naked 2. I bought some of their others, and they're just not a patch on this. So I'm going to start off, look how well I've used it. I mean, that shows you, doesn't it? I've really used it. Oh. Which you don't often do that, do you? You know, you buy these palettes, and there's usually a couple of colours that you don't touch, but... I've used all of these at some point, so I'm going to put like a whole base on. I love watching, um, I mean, God, I never thought I'd be doing this for a minute, but um, I just thought as I was doing this whole foundation thing, it might be a bit of fun. Um, so that's just a kind of a base cream colour. And then I'm going to go in with, um, it's very much like a taupe, taupe, taupe colour. Uh, on the corner of my eye my eyes seem to have suddenly got so wrinkly I remember I used to do makeup for other people quite often and um, you know when I was doing it for older ladies I used to think oh god their eyes are so crinkly and now my eyes are so crinkly but hey be grateful for what we've got eh that's really almost run out that one um, so that's just to give it you know a bit of um shadow there i'm not an expert by any means but i've just always always enjoyed playing around with shadows i have actually got i'm going to use this one this is like the little baby version that i got um and i don't think they do that anymore and even even that is well used um but just to get the slightly slightly darker color and this is another thing i learned recently because my eyes have definitely got more hooded um, is to put this above your natural crease. It does work. God, that looks horrific when you first do it. But um, I'll blend it, blend it all in. I've got a whole selection of brushes, so um, I'm not going to pretend. I think this is a um, Body Shop one. Oh, no, this is Max Factor. They're, they're so old, they've all rubbed off. I think that one's Body Shop. This is Max Factor. Um, but, I mean, they last for donkey's years, don't they? Until the bristles start coming out. Um, they do quite well. So I only want a fairly natural look. It's just a Sunday in, at home, really, apart from this uh, trip to the um, swimming pool later. So I'm going to, you know, normally I'd lick that, but as I've got a little glass of water here and I'm demonstrating, so to speak, speak um, 
I'll be a little bit more hygienic, but I don't normally have a glass of water next to me. And then I'm just going in with a little bit darker up to my lashes. And then a little bit underneath. Not loads, because I don't want to close my eye. It's all about opening your eye, not closing it. So, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that'll do. Like I say, I'm not pretending to be any kind of expert, but um, I, I, I just enjoy it all. It's good fun. It's like um, playing, isn't it? So I am now going to put a little bit of primer on. This is um, Maybelline. And it does it does help I think to give your eyes eyelashes a good base. I tell you what I have been using. Let me see if I can find it. This um I swear by eyelash serums and I have been using um Revitalash, which is incredibly expensive, but it lasts forever. But this one I got in uh, TK Maxx and it's Chiara Biambra. And it seems to be doing the trick. I um, I try and remember to put that on every day. Um, but certainly the Revitalash one definitely does work without a shadow of a doubt. Like I say, it's really expensive. They have it on QVC sometimes and I um, get it on there when they've got it. But it lasts for yonks and yonks. Now, this is a really cheap mascara. It's getting dry, so I'm not sure how it will go. But uh, this was a Wilco buy. I think it was £4. Um, I went to the doctor on Friday about my hip because I'd had such a terrible episode with... Um, pain on Wednesday um like excruciating pain I don't know why I hadn't done a lot but um it's uh my daughter was very very worried she was with me and I had to go to bed um to to sort of lie down and and try and get away from the pain a nice hair there I will say that that's given me a really nice finish. That um, putting them the foundation on that way. Um, so I'm not going to put bottom lashes on today. Like I say, it's just a Sunday at home. So like, what am I thinking? I have smudged it. So again, I'm not going to lie. I would normally lick that, but as you're here. I'll just tidy that up. I'm, I do find that as I've got older, you know, I never used to have that problem. But with everything being heavier, you can quite easily um, get that black onto your lid. So let me just have a double check there. In the old magnifying mirror. Yeah, that's all right. So that's not too bad. Let's see how this is doing. Yeah, nothing, nothing coming off at all now. That's impressive, isn't it? Right, um, I've been using this lately as well. No, not that one. Where is it? God, too organised. This um, illuminating fixing spray gives you a bit of... Because um, I think it's quite important when you get older not to have... The makeup sat in the creases on your face that's not a good look oh the other thing i've been loving lately is this um iconic i'm not plugging any of this stuff i'm just telling you what i like it's it's got three in one it's got um well it's yeah so it's got a pencil that end it's got a brush that end and it's got what they call a spoolie in there and uh, my eyelashes, my eyebrows need tinting at the moment. And I couldn't be bothered today. 
So, and again, I'm not going mad with it because I'm just at home. I mean, I probably wouldn't have put any makeup on today, except I saw this little YouTube thing. Apparently it's gone viral on TikTok. So I tint my eyelashes with um, Just For Men grey hair coverage and um, works fantastically well. And then this was also part of that iconic set. And it's a little um, eyebrow gel. Because you do get a few old Dennis Healy type of uh, random ones. And then last of all, Rob will wonder what on earth's going on. Bit of my aromatics i haven't written to estee lauder yet when i said i used aromatics a couple of people said they've changed the formula and um it's not as strong and of course i just thought it's because i got like used to it because obviously um i wear it every day and you don't smell it on yourself but i'm going to write to them and ask so this is just a little diego de la palma lip pencil that i picked up in the mark sale i think i got no idea. About that brand. And it's, uh, the number is 90. I don't know if you can get it or anything, but I have used it a lot, so it's been good. And then I finish off with a little bit of this powder puff. Um, it's an unusual one, that's why I bought it. I just thought it was, look, it's got like a little sponge kind of squeeze it till it comes out too much I've put on too much because I'm showing you guys oh <laughs> scary <laughs> scary face god I'm being brave showing you all this must be mad still we're friends now aren't we Hell's Bells and all that. So, quick comb through. Just booked to get my hair cut again. I've had all this, like, I've been losing so much hair and I've got this, like, baby hair coming through. Weird, isn't it? Like, you know, like after you've had a baby. It's probably hormones. Because I started having hot flushes again, which was lovely. After the menopause, it's all finished and gone. Um, so, what do we think? I'm impressed with the makeup thing. Don't know if I could be bothered doing it all the time. I look a bit shiny altogether, but then it's not helped by having this light on. Let's go to natural. It's a bit dark, but um, skin looks quite good. Rob will wonder what on earth I'm all made up for when he gets home, but um, yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. Sorry, I've rambled on a bit. I'll... Um, so much hair falls out, it's shocking. I'm forever hoovering up my hair. Um, yeah, so this is a Lola Rose necklace um, I got on QVC in the sale. Oh, no, I didn't. I've got it at um, a Heathrow sale when I worked there. So that's me for this little video. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. See so if you want to try it. Like I say, look, there's loads in here that I didn't use. So um, I'll have to wash that up, take it downstairs. Rob will think I'm even, well, anyway, whatever, who cares? So <laughs> I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.